Now for humanoid robots, the utility is much greater. So my guess is humanoid robots are more like at a, a, a billion plus per year. You might not believe your ears when I say this, but Elon Musk just announced that Tesla's next project could replace human labor forever. Right, right now we're really, we're, we're training Optimus to do like primitive tasks. Sounds like science fiction? He says it's already in production. 10 million robots, 100 million in the next phase. With Optimus, there might be hundreds of millions of Optimus robots, maybe billions. They'll walk like us, think like us. Where I think it gets very interesting um, and, and very much like humans is that um, you, the, you, you want the robot to self-play. And according to Musk, even perform surgery better than a human doctor. Imagine a world where everyone has their own personal doctor. It sounds impossible, right? But this time, it's real. Because according to Elon himself, the leaks about Optimus Gen 3 and even Gen 5 are real. And this next version is so human-like, you'll have to poke it to believe it's not alive. And if you think this is just another one of Elon's crazy ideas, wait until you see what Optimus Gen 3 can actually do. In Tesla's labs right now, robots are moving, balancing, and serving food like something out of a sci-fi movie. And what happens next could change everything we know about life, work, and even identity. Meet Optimus Gen 3. It walks like a human, sees like a human, and soon it might think like one too. Tesla says it's launching early next year, but insiders say Gen 4 and Gen 5 are already in development and they make Gen 3 look ancient. So what's coming next? Let's go deeper. To understand how far Tesla's gone, you have to start with the hardest part of all, the hand. In, in Optimus, from an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. Elon Musk admits building Optimus's hand is harder than building the rest of the robot combined. Each one has 27 joints, 22 degrees of freedom, and the ability to crush steel or cradle an egg. That's the level of control Tesla has achieved. But the real shock isn't what it can do, it's how fast it's learning to do it. Optimus doesn't need to be programmed line by line. It watches humans and YouTube like humans um, do. If Optimus can, can watch videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos or how-to videos or whatever, and based on that video, just like a human can, uh, learn how to do that thing. It's called Sim to Real Training, the same method that taught Tesla cars to drive themselves. Now it's teaching robots to cook breakfast, fold laundry, and handle surgical instruments. And once Optimus learns a new skill, every other Optimus in the world learns it instantly. Think about that. A global network of learning machines improving every single day. But what happens when it learns something we didn't teach it? Elon isn't building one robot. He's building a civilization. The plan? One million Optimus bots per year, eventually hundreds of millions. Factories, hospitals, homes, all run by tireless AI workers. No breaks, no paychecks, no limits. And you might think that sounds amazing until you realize who controls them all. Every Optimus connects to Tesla's neural network, the same cloud that powers self-driving cars. That means every robot is connected. Every robot can be updated and every robot can be controlled by one company, by one man. But here's the part almost no one caught from the call. Elon literally said he could control a robot army. Is that hyperbole? or a glimpse of what's coming. And just wait, because what these robots are about to do next will rewrite what we think alive even means. Because Tesla isn't 
alone. Companies like Figure AI and Unitree are sprinting to build their own humanoids. Figure's robot can do laundry, pack boxes, and talk. Unitrees can run, dance, even fight. But here's the twist. They can move like humans. Only Optimus can learn like one. And that might be all it takes to win. Musk says an Optimus could cost $50,000, but its hands alone make up more than half of that price. So why spend billions developing them? Because if Tesla can mass-produce human-like hands, it doesn't just make robots, it makes everything. Hands are the key to universal manufacturing, and whoever perfects them controls the next industrial revolution. So, what's the end game? Elon calls it sustainable abundance, a world where robots handle every repetitive task and humans focus on imagination, creativity, and exploration. But some see something darker, a future where the only thing more powerful than AI is the one who owns it. And if Tesla actually ships 100 million Optimus bots, that future is no longer science fiction. Optimus Gen 3 will walk on stage soon. When it does, it won't look like a machine. It'll look like us. Smooth panels, human eyes, movement so fluid, you'll question reality. And here's the craziest part. Elon says this version is just the beginning because Gen 5? might be so advanced, you won't know if it's standing beside you until you touch it. Until then, one thing's certain, the age of humans working alone is ending. But when the work is gone, what happens to purpose? If robots can do every job, every chore, every act of creation, what do we do with all that freedom? Musk says it's the beginning of an age of abundance. Some economists call it the beginning of dependency. Will we build lives of meaning or spend our days waiting for machines to tell us what's next? Because if Optimus really replaces labor, it doesn't just change the economy. It changes what it means to be human. So here's the question. Would you let a $50,000 Tesla robot live in your home, cook your meals, raise your kids, perform your surgery? Drop a yes in the comments if you would and smash that like and subscribe because the next reveal from Elon Musk could make this one look like the Stone Age. The future isn't coming, it's already here and it's learning faster than we are. What if Optimus isn't being built for us but to replace us in the places we can't go?